Today we're going to make jambalaya. Now you can make chicken jambalaya, shrimp jambalaya, or sausage jambalaya. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a mixture of chicken and sausage. So the first thing you want to do is you want to brown off your chicken. And you don't want to use stewed chicken for this. You really want to um, brown it off and get the bottom of your pan nice and crusty. I'm using a stainless steel pan. If you can see the bottom of it where I browned my chicken, how it's all browned off in the bottom like that. And that's what we want. So I went ahead and I just put two tablespoons of olive oil in my pot and I turned it on high and I browned off three uh, boneless skinless thighs and two six ounce boneless skinless cutlets. And then I, after that was almost completely done, I added a, a, a smoked sausage, the kind that comes in the long loop. And I just cut that in one inch cubes and added that, and got that heated through. And now I've taken that out of the pan and all I have left is that brown gooey mess on the bottom. And I'm going to add to that four tablespoons of butter and heat that pan back up. So four tablespoons of butter. And then as soon as that's melted, I'm going to add two thirds cup of celery, a half a cup of onion, and a half a cup of green pepper that I have chopped here. And we're just gonna brown that off in the same pot where I cooked the chicken and it has all that nice uh, brown chicken drippings in the bottom. So I'm just gonna add all the vegetables. Stir those around, and that way we can get some of that good flavor from frying the chicken uh, into the entire recipe. So we're gonna cook those until the vegetables are tender. So just kind of stir them around, let them cook, and then to that, we're going to add two cans of diced tomatoes. They don't need to be seasoned in any way, just two cans of diced tomatoes. And we're going to add three cups of chicken broth. And these cans are 14 ounces, so there's eight ounces in a cup. So we're gonna just use the can to measure because it's not that big of a deal if you get a little more or a little less. Um, more would be better because we are gonna put rice in here. So it doesn't take very long for the vegetables to cook. And they're pretty much, the onions are translucent and the green peppers are starting to get soft. So we're gonna add our two cans of diced tomatoes. And then I'm just gonna use that can to measure out roughly three cups of chicken broth. Now you can use chicken broth that you've made or you can just buy chicken broth like this or in a can. So we're gonna add one full can and then about three-fourths of a can. Actually, we can see how many ounces are in this. 32, so not quite all of this. Okay, so we've added the tomatoes, we've added the chicken broth, and then we're going to add one and a third cups of white rice. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of basil, a teaspoon of garlic, salt, some black pepper, and then you can add maybe um, a couple shakes of your favorite hot sauce. And you want to add a bay leaf. So just put one whole bay leaf in there, and you're gonna turn your heat medium low and cover it, and you're gonna let it cook for about 20 minutes. You want it to simmer for about 20 minutes, enough to get the rice cooked through. And so while this is heating up and simmering, I'm gonna turn the camera off, and then when I turn it back on, it'll be ready for us to add our meat. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes, and this smells so good. So the rice is cooked, Everything has melded together really nicely. So now we're gonna add our meat. So I have my pound of smoked sausage and my 
three chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, and my two six ounce breast cutlets that I had browned off. I'm gonna add that. And then I'm also going to add, because we like it really spicy here, I'm gonna add one jalapeno pepper that I have diced up, just to give it a little extra kick. I'm gonna stir it all together, and then I'm going to cover it again and let it just continue to heat so that the meat and everything comes to the same temperature. And it will be ready. And what we're gonna do, I'll also take your bay leaf out. Go ahead and just take that out. It's done its job, throw that away. And what I'm gonna serve this with, my family likes a salad, so I've put together um, a nice chopped salad, but also they love this little Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. It's super easy. All you do is stir together water, cheddar cheese, and the mix that's in here. You stir it real quick, and as soon as the dry ingredients are incorporated, you just you can either dollop it on a cookie sheet that's been prepared, but what I like to do is just spray a mini muffin pan and just put a clump in each divided section of the pan, and then it cooks for, I don't know, 14 minutes. And then there's another little pack in here. You melt a third a cup of butter and add the seasoning packs to it, and as soon as the biscuits come out of the oven, you just brush that um, garlic butter on top, and they are really yummy, taste really good, easy to make. It's a nice thing to keep in your pantry so that you always have a good bread side to go with um, either a soup or a jambalaya. So chicken and sausage jambalaya, again, you can do the same thing with shrimp. Just cook your shrimp first, put them to the side, put together the uh, celery, onion, green pepper, butter, add your diced tomatoes, your chicken broth, your rice, let the rice cook so you're covering it and simmering it for about 20 minutes. Uh, add your basil, your garlic salt, um, your pepper, and any hot sauce that you want. If you want to add a jalapeno, don't add the jalapeno until you add the meat because the longer the jalapeno sits in there, the hotter the dish is going to be. It's a beautiful spring day, a good night to have jambalaya, a nice crunchy salad, and some really good red lobster garlic biscuits. I hope you enjoy it.